Hello and welcome to a very special video. This one is basically the result of many, many years here in Bansko, nearly 20 years. And it's all about how to have a smooth journey if you're flying into Sofia Airport and buying your ski pass like this. In fact, this is Richard's season pass, which I've just bought. Let's say you arrive at the airport around one o'clock. You're in away at 1.30. You're here. 3.30. First job, go to Ski Mania. Watch part two of the video about where that is, but it's just literally behind that building there. Second task at 4.30-ish, just after 4.30, but before six o'clock, is to come here by the Gondola Lift Station, and this is where you buy your tickets. Yes. And I have a little tip for you. A massive tip. Two tips. This, these are the steps now. Freddie is on camera, thank you very much. And I really want to show you that if there's a queue, and there can be a queue, not always, by any means, there is a second cash desk just there. Just pass, just come around here and you'll see the second cash desk. Yeah, you see that down there? Yeah? So many people don't realise that. Okay, so that's tip number two. Tip number three, you can buy your card here. It says, buy your ski pass here. Yes. Now the secret is, is just to buy one day ski pass. Yeah, or two, maybe two if you're really sure you're going to ski two days. But the real, real tip is just buy one day and then if something happens, weather, illness, hangover, whatever, you're not paying for skiing when you're not going to be going up the mountain. Okay. So very simply, you go to the Bansko blog app or Bansko app sometimes Bansko app in iOS, Bansko blog app in Android, download that and you'll see a button that says top up, yeah? And there you go in and it takes you directly to the correct page to top up your ski pass. I suggest you do that first thing you wake up the next morning. So you wake up at seven o'clock for example, half six, and you think it's a great day, I'm gonna go skiing. So you top up using a credit card, yeah? Then of course you can get to Ski Mania maybe quarter to eight, yes, and get to the gondola lift. And that will mean you're pretty much at the front of the queue if there is a queue. And there will be a queue in busy times like New Year. Just a reminder, New Year's Day opens an hour later. So remember that, but the lift is open every single day, including Christmas Day. So you've got to the gondola lift, but let's say it didn't quite, you've got to Ski Mania, you've got to the gondola lift and it's now eight o'clock, fantastic. But let's say you've had a lie-in, you've been to Amigos, because, remember the day before, maybe the first day, as I say, you've got your hire sorted, your boots, your snowboard, everything sorted just there in Ski Mania. You've got your lift pass. You're at the happy end there. There's the happy end there. Or one of the many other bars and restaurants around by six o'clock. And you're having dinner and you've got to bed nine o'clock. But maybe it doesn't go that way. Maybe you end up at Amigos where you're watching step by step and it's like a TARDIS, a time warp, and it's two o'clock before you go to bed, so you wake up later. Yeah. Whiskey time. Whiskey time, thank Whiskey you, time. Freddie. Whiskey time all the time, fantastic band. So you have a late one, and you wake up a bit later, and you get to the gondola lift. You haven't done what Uncle Lance has told you to do, <laughs> which is to get here early. Doesn't matter. You can get a bus up, okay? There's a queue of buses here, but let's say there's a queue for a bus. Well, you know, you can get a taxi. There's a taxi there. Yeah, there's many taxis there. So what I'm saying is you are well prepared. This is how it goes first day. And this is the reason why I recommend you put your own ski package together. Book your own flights. Go to Bansko blog and then get your own private transfer. It makes everything simple, smooth. You're not hanging around. You're not sharing anything if someone's got a terrible bug, cold, coughing over you, making it ill for your ski trip. You've been looking forward to it, you don't want to be that. Best to have a private transfer. You get yourself here, you've got your ski hire, you've got your lift pass, you're ready, you're having a nice evening and you're ready for the next morning to get up on those wonderful slopes. So, lots of tips there, but let me know down in the comments your tips for a very smooth and hassle-free start to your holiday. But it really, really does start by, of course, going to the Bansko blog app and booking your private transfer, getting that first nice journey from Sofia to Bansko, nice and relaxed. I know you would 
probably been up quite early. So this is very, very important to have a nice, smooth, stress-free start to your trip here in Pansco. So make sure you subscribe for the next one. Like, share. Peace and love from Bansko. Bye for now.